How's it going everybody? I'm Tim Lezinski with Midwest Car Exchange in the Chicagoland area. I'd like to welcome all of our subscribers, watchers, and uh, viewers worldwide. Today I'm bringing you a blue 1970 Chevrolet Nova. This is going to be more of a pro touring build. Um, absolutely stunning car through and through. The point of this video is I'm going to explain a little bit about the car and what I'm seeing on it. I'm going to take you for a test drive, tell you what I'm feeling on the car. Then I'm going to do a nice walk around so you can see how everything gaps out paint quality, stuff of that nature. Then I'll take her inside my showroom and I'll do a quick um, engine running and exhaust and some light shots and everything. So hopefully you get a good feel for this car. Uh, starting off with the drive line, it has about 726 miles. The odometer on the dash here is reading out since the build. So that's gonna be a GM crate engine, 383 stroker. That's a stage two pumping out about 420 horsepower. Backed by a 350 transmission, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's a 10 bolt rear end. I have to look into that one exactly, but um, it's gonna have a quick fuel double pumper carburetor holly. It's gonna have a uh, hooker headers, aluminum radiator, uh, dual electronic fans that run off a ther thermostat gate, and um, a couple little, little extra goodies underneath the hood that bump it up a little extra horsepower, but I don't exactly know where that's at. So we're gonna stay the 420 horsepower that came from the factory is where we're at. So I want to start off um, with the interior here. Absolutely beautiful interior. Everything is new. These vinyl seats were ordered. They're actually adjustable and I'm six foot five. So I'm actually sitting in here pretty dang comfortably. I normally don't in pretty much any classic car. Um, so the seats were added, all new door panels, headliner. Uh, the visors are all brand new too. Everything in here is like 9.9 out of 10. I can't really say anything bad about it. Sound system, we're looking at a custom audio sound radio here. Um, full LED, LED uh, readout, digital readout on it. And um, it's going to have a couple extra kick, kick panel speakers here. Some of uh, these five and, a, five and a quarters, I believe. And in the rear, I got some six by nines, some add-on six by nines. Um, so I'm seeing here is a gated shifter here by Sidewinder. I'm also seeing three gauges underneath the dash here, oil, volt, and water. These are add-on gauges along with a, um, a CB radio that's underneath the dash here. This is going to be an NRG Innovation um, custom tilt column. So this works great. The ignition is nice and flawless on it with an MSD ignition as well. This is going to be a locking um, or, or a quick release steering wheel. So if you're ever out of a place, so you pop it off in the glove box there is a lock. You throw this in your trunk then and uh, it's nice added protection. Then if you get this right here, up back on, we're good to go. Um, this is absolutely beautiful in here. All the gauges in here are all going to be a factory original. We're going to have vintage air conditioning added on here, but all these gauges and I'm sorry, controls here look all factory original. So next portion of this, I want to go ahead, take it out for a lap, tell you what I'm feeling on it. So um, let's get back out there, guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys for a test drive at this point here. Power starts are up. Very nice and easy, very healthy sound to it as well. Uh, tachometer is working, speedo is working, I will show you that in a minute, fuel gauge is working as well. All three gauges down there work, and... Got a nice sound system too, so everything on the interior here seems to be working as it should. Right away, very nice and healthy, very responsive car too. nice and straight like over the wheel not falling side to side so nice there I got up to about 40 right there and it seems nice and healthy turn signal indicators are working on the interior so far no play at all in the steering wheel either which is uh, very nice it's very responsive it does what I want it to do 